Well, a very good evening to you on what is pretty close to an ideal evening for football. There is uh, barely a cloud evident. The world and his wife have gone to great lengths to be here for a match of great consequence and massive interest in these parts. Barely a breath of wind, so the football has no excuses for not being at its very best. The teams I know are pumped for this. They are fantastic scenes in the stands. There is a great sense of drama here, a great sense of uh, excitement and expectation. The Estadio do Dragao in Porto, distinctive in so many ways by comparison with its Lisbon rivals. It does appear that they are lining up, Jim, in a 5-4-1 formation. Well, a reinforced rear guard, Peter, and a compact midfield probably suggests that they're focusing much on giving very little away. I think if you commit to that, then you really can't afford to concede because it clearly demands a quick change in approach if you do, which isn't always easy because in the build-up to this, believe me, they'll have been working principally on organisation and shape in training. And it's not easy just to suddenly come out of that. And that gets things running. So, Jim, who would you identify as the key man in this fixture? David De Gea. He's one of the all-time great shot stoppers, Peter. His positioning is superb. And he always seems to pick the perfect moment to rush off his line. What I really like about him is the way he keeps his frame big to make life as difficult as possible for strikers. And the manager will be hoping for a few more clean sheets now that he's in the team. Yeah, I'd have picked him too. No doubt the fans feel much the same way. Barkley. Barkley plays it forward. Fred. Lindelof. Wan-Bissaka. Well, it's very much the start we expected. There is a sizable gulf in quality between the two sides. Major averted for now. Shaw as well there. Alert. And it's Pogba. Bruno Fernandes. And here's Cavani. It's Cavani! a half decent try Cavani certainly could have and should have made more of that no goals as yet Pogba. Now it's Cavani. Pogba. Oh, super tackle. They were outnumbered and under the cosh. That had to be spot on, and it was. Kieran Gibbs goes looking. Get it forward quickly. And it's Gibbs. Plays it out wide. Juan Bissaka gets it away. Jake Livermore goes up and over. Just to point out, Peter, that the fullbacks are quite high. And what do they try to achieve? Well, it's obviously a move to push um, the opposition wide men back and, and give them more to think about. Barkley. Until half time, and he is still goalless. 
Kieran Gibbs. Livermore. a good ball to find him Fred and here's Cavani and there's the end of the first half both sides have drawn blanks they have toiled at times but it's not been a bad game by any means Here to review the first half well, they look lost for ideas and, and lacking in talent, which all contributes to a, a chronic case of impotence. No balls at this stage, but certainly not devoid of action. It is nil-nil here at half-time. And the game has already resumed here. That first 45 minutes didn't deliver as we'd hoped. Lots of effort, but a lack of quality with the finishing has left us hoping that someone could step up and produce something a little more magical. Fernandez, Togba, and the weighted pass. That was one quality pass away from being a very decent chance. Looked very promising. Manchester United just had to make the ball stick, but came up short. One Bissaka, McTominay, and they continue each to cancel the other out. Bruno Fernandes. Oh, what a ball! Has a pop! Hoists it forward. Bruno Fernandes. Kieran Gibbs. Very few chances to talk off, Jim. Defences, it seems, on top here. Well, I think it's a, a fair reflection of what we've seen so far. Neither side has produced that many efforts at goal simply because respective defences have been strong. Lindelof. And it's played forward. Jake Livermore gets it back. And they found themselves penned in. Nowhere to go. Bruno Fernandes gets wrestled off the ball. No complaints about that challenge. Robust but fair. Forward it goes. for their attitude and application in trying to win this. It means an awful lot, obviously. Well positioned to make that interception. Kieran Gibbs. Barkley. The final five minutes. Some good work on the right flank. Now, what's next? For the crop. Heads it! You wonder if that's it now, but and that will be the final act. A frustrating game for attackers on either side. They hardly had a sniff. Defense is broadly in charge, and it has finished goalless. Your final thoughts, Jim? West Brom can take a lot from this. They were expected to be well beaten, but determination produced a very fair result.
My thanks to Jim alongside me, and as the fans make their way home, so must we. Good evening to you.